Uh, hey, um, I was wondering why, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm sitting here and I was wondering why I'm required to shut up. Uh, actually, I was looking here at this, uh, Donald Trump is making one last effort to try to evade his alleged prison sentence. Um, I really don't know what Donald Trump did as president. And uh, I'm sure there's a lot of other people like other people like me that don't know what he did as president. Uh, when that happens, according to John Adams, a quote of John Adams that I wrote about, uh, it, it if you if you do something and if you're in a situation. Um, you might require help. So if, uh, whether that's legal or an endorsement type situation, um, and that's because you're in a society that is supposed to be uh, fair and for freedom, liberty, independence, and the laws that are supposed to govern that society. But of course, as we all know, our society here in the United States is a very dangerous and uh, deceitful society. And so I'm looking at these uh, news stories here that I know a little bit about the news. I know a little bit about uh, journalism. Uh, and people can just write anything they want and they might get away with it. They might... Uh, have, they might pay very dearly for it, but if someone likes the story the way it's written, uh, it doesn't matter what happens to those who wrote it, uh, they can suffer any kind of uh, consequence of their writing, but their writing is at the mercy of whoever it might be at the mercy of. And so... Uh, my point is that it's not clear what's going on here. And I, I know, I've known Donald Trump since I was in high school. I'm 58 years old. And uh, I've never really met Donald Trump. And there's a lot of other people in the world who claim to know me who have never met me. And so uh, I've, I've been trying very hard to... Uh, to get the government uh, to get rid of their double taxation bus fare uh, and uh, make the accommodations to the people a lot more than what they are uh, deserving or worthy of uh, as uh, elected officials. Uh, but... Um, so, uh, what I wanted, what I was trying to do was those flying, uh, something that could fly that you could live in like a motor home or a house or a boat. Uh, and I've been working on that real hard for the past 15 or 20 years. Um, and, uh, I came here to this, uh, great, uh, catastrophic argument between uh, a, a president and a successor to that uh, person who wanted to claim or put forth the deceitful uh, practice of looking like they're something they're not. So anyway, what was I trying to say? Now that I've said those words of great gravity, um, I guess what I was trying to say doesn't mean anything anymore. Huh? Uh, but anyway, I was just wondering what it is, why it is that I can't understand myself being on Donald Trump's staff, being accepted on Donald Trump's staff, why is it that I can't know exactly what he's going, uh, supposedly going to some fair court for? 
And I've had, I don't know how many court cases I had in the land, uh, Florida, but um, each one of them uh, was explained. I, I, I wrote a nice little understandable injunction request there to the Florida Supreme Court, which I've known for 40 years. And uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to show people that uh, there really isn't any justice in this country at all. It's just a uh, lie and a dream uh, that doesn't have the capability uh, to be what it says it is, what it wants to be. It doesn't have the capability. And the reason why it doesn't have the capability is because people don't voluntarily stick together. And that's because nobody holds the uh, ideals or the principles of the founding or the existence, the existence of this country uh, the way they should. They don't, they don't have the principles. They don't have the values. Uh, they don't have the discipline. And uh, Donald Trump being put on trial is uh, an unbelievable situation in this country after he has done everything he has done for, for each and every one of us uh, by simply doing nothing at all. And uh, here's the, this story here is just uh, an exemplification of the country's gratitude, the people's gratitude. No one is going to come to Donald Trump's help. They're not going to help the man. And uh, that's the situation. That's the society we live in. That's the, uh, the whole point of uh, everything that I can understand the way I see it. Uh, and it's very hard for me to even maintain my own understanding because of the situation uh, of so many criminals in government that uh, it's, it's, I was warned ever since I was three or four years old about Rome uh, and uh, what Rome was and uh, what happened in Rome. And that's what's happening. That's, that's, Rome is everywhere now. So I just wanted to say that because Donald Trump has told me I was on his staff and I have not been contacted about any uh, compensation for that position. Uh, I haven't discussed any salary. I'm just here to say that myself being whatever it is that I am, that someone wants to disregard or ignore, uh, my being on Donald Trump's staff might have some kind of value that would, that would help Mr. Trump uh, in some way. And so uh, if somebody wants to run that through the dirt or through the mud and call it Roger uh, or uh, whatever, I used to have a really cute way of talking that everyone would ho it would hold everyone's attention. Uh, and it had a purpose. It had a mission. It was it was objective. That was the objective to remain objective. And uh, when I started winning, when I started making some progress, whatever the progress was, I tried to uh, keep a record of it somehow. Uh, but uh, when I made some progress, uh, everybody kind of joined on and then, then they kind of ran ahead of me. Uh, but uh, that's what I wanted to say, I guess. Uh, I don't know what, what's happening to Donald Trump. I don't know where he is today. I don't know what he's doing. I have no way to get in touch with him. And uh, so I'm on his staff, 
and he's supposedly in some court, a fair United States court, fair and legal, that I'm sure upholds and, and stands behind uh, the Constitution and, and, and every article and preamble involved uh, in that Constitution for the integrity of their court. Okay, so I'm going to post this.